All right, let's start with our warm ups and do a little core work today. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Get the knees lifting and the sitting bones going down so those hips open up, core activated with your ribs towards your spine and lifting, shoulders back and down. Take a moment to breathe, drawing in energy and awareness. Exhaling stress and tension. And keep that inner focus as we progress. Inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, shoulders down. Exhale, hands behind you, just fingertips clasp, lift your heart, stretch your head back, shoulders down. Exhale, over. So just pivot at your hips, Deepen as much as you'd like. Move your chin around a little to loosen your neck. Keep lifting your sitting bones for that back of the leg stretch. And move your hands towards your head maybe a little bit to get those shoulders starting to release. And then knees bend slightly. Drop the sitting bones toward the floor as you lift the ribs and unwind all the way into the back bend. Stretch your head back, spread your toes out, drop your shoulders. And don't forget to burn. Then on an inhalation, come on upright and release. Just take a moment, feel your spine getting activated. And we'll do the same thing, inhaling. <laughs> Exhaling to your heart. Stretch out to the front. Cross your hands the other way behind you. Lift your heart, stretch, and pivot over. Exhale. And again, just deepen as much as you'd like for that good low back stretch. Chin slightly in, knees bent. And again, just wind your way slowly up and lift your heart. And again, as you get to the top, just focus on stretching your spine even while it's in the back bend. And then inhale to the top. Release your arms, and again, just take a moment and notice how your body is responding. So spreading out. Let's keep one arm down and the other arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push them away, and then lean them out, twisting to the side. Remember, you can look up toward that arm, so you make sure you're not leaning forward. Push the foot you're leaning away from down a little bit more, and feel those ribs expand further. Inhale back up, exhale that arm down. And same thing on the other side, arm out, shoulder stays down, palm up, and hand above your shoulder. Push the hands and lean to the other side. And go just as deeply as you'd like. Stretch out through your fingertips, inhale, and down into that foot you're leaning away from. Feel those ribs. Don't forget to breathe into them. And then inhale up and release. Feel the thighs a little bit more open. Shoulders back and down a couple times. And get that spine stretching apart for our twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows. Bring your arms back by your ears, shoulders down, sitting bones down, base of the skull up. And exhale into the twist. Take a breath. Exhale over. And again, keep the weight on both feet evenly. Bend as deeply as you like. Take a moment, lifting your sitting bones, keeping the arms by your ears. And don't forget to breathe. Inhale, work your way back all the way up. Lift your heart, elbows back, shoulders down. And remember, don't lift your chin too much. You want to stretch the back of your neck. And inhale to the top, exhale to the center, and switch your arms. And again, arms back by your ears and stretch that spine apart, twist into the other side. Another breath, and exhale over. And just deepen as much as you'd like again. And move your head around if that feels like that helps your neck release. Keep your arms by your ears, keep the sitting bones going up. And don't forget to relax through the shoulders. 
on an inhalation, come on up in the twist, keep that weight on those feet and lift your leg. Again, not too hard on the chin, stretching your neck and being very careful with your low back while you're twisting. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, coming up into extended mountain, shoulders down, shoulder blades towards your waist. Breathe. <laughs> and pivot forward. And you will, okay. <laughs> Stretch it out. And drop into ragdoll. You can pull in with your hands behind your legs if you want a little bit deeper. Or not, your choice. And then arms back to the front. Knees slightly bent. And again, just winding from the bottom all the way down. Up, shoulders back and down. And mountain pose. As you get there, just take a moment, feel your spine, notice what's working today and what maybe needs a little bit more attention. Focus on your ribs, you want your core activated, so just move the ribs around. Keep your shoulders above your hips as much as you can, and just bring those ribs front, side, back to the other side. Just no motion through the shoulders and hips if you can avoid it, just moving the core. Do it the other way, which is moving. You can put your fingertips on your ribs if that helps you remember where that attention needs to go. Because where your attention goes, that's where the work is focused. And then back into the mountain pose. Feel that belly. That's um bring your arms out. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pivot at your hips. And then drop into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees on your shins. Stretch and straighten in that halfway up position. Shoulder blades towards your waist, head and sitting bones away from each other. And drop back down into ragdoll. Straighten your spine. Straighten your arms at shoulder level, straighten your knees, pivot up, keeping those arms right at shoulder level. Arms toward the ceiling, look overhead, palms together. Exhale, slowly coming all the way into ragdoll one more time. Hands up under your shins, halfway up, stretch. Exhale down again, knees slightly bent, and unwind slowly back into wrap and pose. Shoulders back and down. Bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. A little squat for Roxanne coming into chair. Knees toward your toes, not beyond. Push those sitting bones way back behind you. Keep your arms by your ears. Back straight. So sitting bones and crown reach away. Keep looking at that space in front of you. Deepen as far as you want to go. Lead with your fingertips back up. Come into extended mountain. Keep those shoulders down. Keep those arms stretching out through the fingertips and up. Keep that core active. Sink again into your chair pose. Sitting bones lay back as those knees come not beyond your toes. Come as deep into your squat as you want to go. Stretch it out. Lengthening shoulder blades towards your waist. Pivot over into that forward bend. Bend your knees and then let's transition all the way to the floor. Sitting bones, hip. Sitting bones on your heels, hands palms up at your side, forehead down toward the floor. Take a breath. Just relaxing. A little bit stretch on your back. And then bring your hands up in front. Toward the sides of the mat, pivot up, slide your legs back, and come all the way over to your belly. Into resting crocodile. Head to one side, shoulders down, hands, palms up at your sides. Just take a moment. As you exhale, turn your head to the other side. Remember, each time, making sure you keep that neck working evenly. And then bring your forehead toward the floor. Bring your hands, palms down. 
Bring your shoulders onto the floor and slide your chin forward. And we'll do a locust. So, feet are hip width apart. Stretch your toes back. And then focus on your right leg. Bring it up, stretching out through the base of the toe area. Fall of your toes. For those of you who get confused. Keep stretching out. Keep both hip bones pressing down. This is strengthening your back, but also your core. So chin forward, shoulders down, foot out, and lifting as much or as little as your body wants to do. Push the hip evenly down. Take a breath, maybe lift it a little higher. And then keep reaching out through your toes. Exhaling slowly lowering the leg. Tuck your forehead toward the floor to give that neck a little release. Check to make sure your feet are hip width apart. Slide the chin forward again. Remember, if it does get too much for your neck, you can go back to that forehead bend. Toes sliding back and lifting that left leg. Really balls of your toes, base of your toes, all the way up. Hip bones down, so really press evenly into the surface beneath you and up with the foot. Keep reaching it out. Keep that chin slid forward if you can. Keep gently pressing down through the shoulders as well. Take a moment and breathe. Lifting that foot as high as it wants to go. And then still reaching out through those toes. Slowly lower it below. When it gets down again, just tuck the forehead on it. Give it a good stretch. And you can keep the arms where they are, or you can clasp your hands under you and press your hips, elbows down into your arms and hands. Both feet hip width apart, chin sliding forward, shoulders down. Take a moment there, breathing. Keep stretching out through the toes. And then lift both feet about hip width apart, maybe a little closer if that works better. And just stretch it out, lift those feet as high as they want to go. Keep that chin sliding forward, shoulders down, hips pressing down. Take a breath, lift maybe a little higher with your feet if that works for you. Just breathing into it, lifting, getting that midsection of your body really working through the back, through the abs. And then again, stretching out, maybe lift a little higher. And then slowly as it gets a little Tuck the chin, forehead to the floor, release the arms, take the shoulders a little bit. Put the hands under your shoulders and press it back into our nice child's pose forward bend. Take a moment there, just relax. Feel that circulation, feel that stretch through the whole back of your body. Interacting that back bend we were doing. Take a breath. Exhale. And then inhaling, sit up. Bring your legs up to the front. And all the way to the end of the neck. So sitting bones behind you. Core activated. Stretch up through the crown. Shoulders relaxed. Use that core for support as you slowly lower onto your sacrum, and then your lower ribs, and then your shoulder blades, and the upper body all the way down. Take a moment and breathe. Let those shoulders relax down. Exhale in tension. So bring your arms out to position just for some stability. You can turn the palms down toward the floor. Sitting bones toward your heels, and then either Bending one leg and bringing each one up separately, or bending both legs and bringing them up, or keeping them straight and bringing them up. We're going to come into both feet up toward the ceiling position. So press the bottoms of your feet up through the heels, toes pulling back toward your head, and the bottoms of your feet going up toward the ceiling. Shoulders, shoulder blades down toward the floor, shoulders and arms relaxing. Get that core working, supporting, so it's already doing work, keeping those legs up. So just notice that. 
and be aware of that whole midsection of your belly. We're going to slowly lower one leg toward the floor and just let the heel hover just above the floor as you keep pushing that through the bottom of your foot. Take a moment there and then inhale and bring that foot back slowly up. And we'll do the other foot. So slowly, remember, don't go all the way to the floor with it just slightly above it. Other foot is still pushing up toward the ceiling. Rest both feet away and then slowly lower for a ways that way. We'll do that one more time separately. Foot coming down, just hovering and pushing out. Feel what's going on through that midsection. Inhale it back in. Exhale the other foot down. Release those shoulders, don't make them tight. Not working hard at all, just working that midsection. And again, releasing the foot. Both feet up, pressing toward the ceiling, and we'll do them both together. So again, just as far as you can go before your arch, your back arches up too much. Hover over the floor, pushing away. And slowly bringing them back up. Take a moment as you get back to the top. Press those feet up through the heels, toes toward your head. And we're going to lower the legs this time all the way to the floor. Just slowly, whatever works for you, using that core for support, pressing out through the feet. And when they get all the way down, just totally relax. Feel that midsection a little bit more energized and worked. Feet hip width apart. You can bring your hands next to your sides. Sitting bones towards your heels, press your back down, bring the heels in, and then your sitting bones move straight up. So remember, don't let them spread apart. Roll the whole leg in so that those knees go straight up. Heels right near your sitting bones, shoulders down toward the floor. Then we're going to work the core. So this is the um, physical therapy exercise. So lift your ribs. And push the sitting bones down so you're arched up from your shoulder blades to your sitting bones with that space under your back as much as feels good for you. And then exhale, slide the sitting bones more towards your heels and the back all the way down to the floor, the whole spine making contact. Feel that core activated as you do that in your quads too. And then a few times during that, Rolling the sitting bones down, getting that arch up with the ribs lifting. And then exhaling, the sitting bones sliding, whole spine sinking to the floor, feeling that core really pulling it down. And do that a few times at your own breath pace, inhaling in the back bend, exhaling in the forward bend, just really working that all the way as far toward the floor as you're going to go. And just a few times, letting that back get strengthened and that core activated. And then just coming back to neutral, release and relax your shoulders, slide your legs out. Bring your arms up overhead, palms toward each other. We're going to do yoga sit up. So inhale, arms right above your shoulders. Reach your heart up toward the ceiling. Lift with your upper body, coming all the way up. Nice. And reach for your toes. Take a moment there, stretching your back. And come back all the way up. Bring your legs underneath you and into child's pose. Take a breath, just relaxing. And then arms out in front again toward the sides of the mat. Pivot up, bring your legs back, knees under your hips. Press elbows and shoulders lined up. And then slide your hands forward, coming onto your forearms. Slide your toes back, coming into your forearm kick. So remember, Core activate, so bring those ribs up to your spine. 
and toward your heart. You need to keep the hips pivoted up slightly, that's okay. Don't let them sit down to the floor, that strains your back. Make sure you're on the base of the toes, balls of their feet, and you're pushing back through the heels. So ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, everything lining up as much as you can. Take a breath. You need to bring the knees down. Feel free to do that. And stretch a little bit more. And then knees to the floor. Push it back. And again, into child's pose. Arms extended. Um, extended child's pose. Bring your forehead all the way to the floor if you want. Into the rhythm pose. Take a breath. And then inhale, sitting up on your heels. So we're going to do that again. This time you can do a full plank if you want, or you can stick with the forearm plank if that's better for your wrists and shoulders. So come on all the way forward. Your elbows and shoulders lined up. Spread your fingers. Get the base of the fingers and the heels of your palms evenly working. And again, stretch those legs back, hip width apart. Get that core active, lifting. So you're kind of hip bones, hip bones lifting, core lifting, spine being supported. Heels back, round forward. And feel that activation in your midsection. And again, just take a moment there, breathe, reach this. Heels back, round forward. And again, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, everything lined up your neck as well. Take a breath. And if you want, if you're in full plank, you can shift forward so your shoulders are over your fingertips and lower your body to the floor as straight as you can. And take a moment, breathing and relaxing. And then pushing back into child's pose one more time. Exhale, tension. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels, bring the legs out in front, you can turn that off if you want. <laughs> Step press that through your heels, again, activating your core, rolling slowly onto the floor. And taking a reclined integration moment, shoulders down, hands, palms up. Let those toes come toward each other just slightly. Exhale, tension. We're going to bring the arms to T position, right up from your shoulders, palms up. We're going to do our straight leg twist, letting that core work a little bit more. So sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down. Inhale, one leg up. So I'm doing the right leg. Stretch out through the bottom of your foot. Get the leg as straight as it wants to be. We're going to roll all the way to the left side, the opposite side. Bring the foot all the way to the floor. Hands together in front of you. Keep your head down. Head under it if you need to for that neck support. And then if you can, take your left hand and hold your right foot. And bring the right hand above the shoulder or the ceiling. You can keep your hand on the leg if you can reach your foot. We're going to lower that hand behind you right at shoulder level, palm up toward the ceiling, turning to look at it with your head so that you bring your whole body into the twist. So push the foot away and the hand in front of you, getting that lower back maximized if it wants to. And hand toward the floor, it may be in the air, that's okay, just let gravity do the work. Turn your head, neck and shoulder twist, and the middle back is in the twist as far as that hand wants to go toward the floor. Take a breath, emphasize the exhalation. That helps the ligaments along your spine release and deep into your twist as much as your body needs to go. So just let it happen, never force a twist. Always just breathe with it and relax. Deep breath, tension out. And then to release, just let go of your foot or leg, roll onto your back, 
foot back up toward the ceiling. Press that heel up, activate that core for support as you slowly lower your head. And whenever it gets to the floor, just release and relax a moment. Straighten things out because, of course, we're going to twist to the opposite side. Hands, palms up, shoulder level, feet hip width apart. Rest down slightly with those sitting bones toward your heels, back to the floor, and bring that left leg up. Press it toward the ceiling as much as it wants to go. Feel that core supporting, and then we're lowering, or lowering it to the right side. So roll all the way, hands together, foot all the way to the floor, coming onto the right side of your body. Right hand holding your left foot if it reaches, otherwise just on your arm or your leg. And left hand right above your shoulder. Look at it as you lower it right at shoulder level, so you don't go down toward your foot or up toward your head, but straight back, letting that chest and heart area open into the twist as the arm lowers. Turn your head for that neck area twist, push the foot away, and hold it if you can for that lower back twist to maximize. And just let the hand come toward the floor as far as gravity brings you into your twist. A few breaths here, just relaxing into it, letting the whole spine release, breathing, deepening as much as your body wants. Exhale, intention. And to release again, let go of the foot or leg, roll onto your back, press the back gently down, sitting bones toward your heels, flexing the foot, leading with your heel, keeping that core working to support your leg as you slowly, slowly lower it to the floor. As you get all the way down, straighten things up, bring your hands near your sides, Palms down, sitting bones toward your heels, press your back down, heels in right next to your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor, and do a little bridge, just one. So palms pressing down, shoulders on the floor. Exhale, press your whole spine down, core working. And then hip bones lift as you come up into just a gentle bridge. Keep those knees right straight up, so make sure they're not spreading apart. Again, I'm not rolling at the top of the thighs. Press into the shoulders, maybe work up a little higher onto the shoulders, but be sure you're on your head and shoulders, not your neck. Lift the hips, sitting bones, maybe a little bit more. Take a breath, and exhale. Release your shoulders, come onto your shoulder blades, come onto your lower ribs, onto your spine onto your sacrum and slide your legs out. Turn your hands, palms up, and it's relaxation time. So take a deep breath and exhale, let your whole body soften and your toes slightly toward each other and then let the legs relax. Hands, palms up slightly away from your hips. Letting your shoulders release down into that surface beneath you. Deep breaths. Just letting your whole body sink deep into that earth support. Scan through your body. Lots of core work today, so let the belly soften and relax. And just allow your whole body to deepen, growing heavy as you exhale. And as you let your body release completely, allow thoughts of your body to release as well. And know that, of course, it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no need to think of your body or anything else. Just let the content of your thoughts disappear as easily as your body. Just allow your mind to float your body to sink, your breath to deepen, and your awareness to find that peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And just take moments being peace.
And if you have extra time today to relax, just keep relaxing as long as you have the opportunity. It's time to reactivate for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing in energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And begin moving your body however it feels good for you today. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely as you become ready. And you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation. Sitting bones towards your heels, heels up towards your hips, and knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that good appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work. And the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, hold your feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up. Getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.